Hello everyone, in this video we will be explaining about the Tyndall effect caused by colloids using a small experiment and we will be discussing about the possible application of this as well. In this demonstration of the Tyndall effect, we will be using a glass beaker, a laser pointer and milk solution as our colloid solution. First off, we point the laser through the beaker filled with water. Clearly the path of the laser beam in the water is invisible to us. Next, we add a spoonful of milk solution into the water to form the colloid solution. As the milk settles in, the path of the laser beam is now clearly visible. So how does this effect happen? Let's start by drawing out the illustration of what just happened just now first. When milk is added into the beaker, a colloidal suspension is formed. This blue circle represents the colloidal particle in the suspension. Again, we point the laser towards the beaker which is now filled with milk and water. As the light travels through the solution, it is scattered by the naked eye and of course, the camera. The main application of Tyndall effect is to determine the presence and the size of the colloidal particles. This is applied by using the common apparatus, the ultra microscope and the turbodimeter. The ultra microscope system is used to observe particles whose diameter is shorter than the wavelength of the visible light, which are too small to be seen in an ordinary light microscope. Therefore, instead of viewing the particle directly, the ultra microscope detects scattered light. Colloids between 400 to 700 nanometers in size correspond to the range of visible light wavelength and therefore scatters the light beam. This is the turbidimeter. The turbidimeter uses the Tyndall effect as well to measure the concentration and density of the colloidal solution. Thank you all for watching the video. I hope you have learned something more about Tyndall effect and colloids in this video. Thank you very much.